welcome to Wentworth Military Academy, one of the nation's oldest and proudest military schools. We're delighted to have you see the kind of program that Wentworth offers the youth of this country today. We're proud of our academic program. We're proud of our military program, which can qualify junior college cadets to receive a gold bar as a second lieutenant in the United States Army, along with his diploma when he graduates from Wentworth. And we're proud of our facilities here. Wentworth enjoys an international reputation for excellence in education. The reasons that students come to Wentworth are as varied as the students themselves. For the latter part of my senior year, and for that matter, my junior year, I had uh, looked for several colleges, uh, both junior colleges and four-year universities. And from what I had seen at those universities, I, I really wasn't that impressed with them due to their large size. I had attended a summer camp here in 1969 when my older brother, Pat, uh, was here in college. And I liked it then, and, and my brother had done quite well here. And uh, I suppose that was one of the main factors, how I had found out about Wentworth and why I came. Well, I got out of eighth grade in, you know, 74, and I wasn't exactly a great student. And uh, when I got to public school, I wasn't doing so good, you know. I could get away with cutting classes. You know, I'd, uh, last year was really, you know, it was pathetic. I was taking, like, five classes at eight, eight class day. I got out of that, I got out of there with a, like a D average, something like that. So I came to Wentworth and uh, first six weeks I was here I made the honor roll. I got the Portman and I earned a furlough. Which as far as I was concerned was super. It, it's completely different from public school because the classes are smaller. I mean, it's a lot smaller than public school. You know, I, I think it's helped me a lot. Basically, our M16 rifle is 5.56 millimeters. The most unique aspect of an education at Wentworth is that a cadet has the option to earn a second lieutenant's commission while participating in an outstanding academic program. I've been wanting a military career, and I figured, well, this would be my best bet to come here first. I, I will be commissioned sometime this summer, but I, I'll be branched on assigned. Which of and the two is the heaviest? I won't go on active duty till 1980. So I have two years to complete college between now and 1980. 7.6 pounds for the uh, uh, M16. <laughs> a friendly, still traditional, pretty atmosphere about Lexington. There's trees, there's, there's big old homes, there's, there's Main Street. The atmosphere is very nice. And then you've got Kansas City. That's about, really only about 40, 50 minutes from here. Any part in Kansas City you want. It's, it's a city. It's a beautiful city. And you can do a lot of things there. And there's time for you to have a good time. And you can go to KC. Or you can you know, go to Springfield, Lake of the Ozarks, or whatever. You've got the best of two worlds. You know, the big city life, there's always something to do besides study. And me being the type of individual I am, I do enjoy going out an awful lot, as well as being in athletics. But by being here in a small town, I have been able to study much more because there's less to do. Number one, there's no place to go. There are scheduled times that I have to study and the overall advantage of people here not bothering you because they have to be at that same study period. That's it, that's it very simple. It's conducive to study. The barracks life, for example. There's no, there's not the loud stereos, there's not the partying going along so you can, uh, you know, if you're a college guy and you're tempted to go down and, and, and booze it up, uh, the atmosphere is changed into study and academic endeavors. Also, the teacher-student ratio here, the personal individualized caring that the, the, the faculty uh, displays towards the individual student is important. You can go as a college student here and feel that the teachers care about you. 
and that they're willing to, to go that extra mile with the student. And not that other large universities can't, but due to their large size, it's almost impossible. come fast. They have two plays that we know they're famous for. That is the fake drive to the fullback. At Wentworth, the student benefits from healthy competition, his total environment, academic, athletic, military, offers challenges. Competing, meeting these challenges, the cadet experiences a feeling of accomplishment, of achievement, often for the first time in his life. I'm going to be going to Bethel College, North Newton, Kansas, next year on a basketball scholarship. I had the opportunity to go in and practice a lot all year long, which helped me to get that scholarship. When I graduate from college in 1980, I'll be commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. Okay, here we have two, two kinds of algae, the blue-green and the green. You can tell a difference here just in looking at the color. And if you feel this algae on the left, it's very slimy. And that allows a plant to keep other organisms from growing on it. Thus, it can undergo photosynthesis a little bit more. Wentworth cadets continue to enjoy success when they go on to four-year universities. The principal reason is the demanding educational regimen that a cadet is subject to. His academic program morning, we'll forces him to explore his full intellectual potential. A cadet has to become a scholar. The class that helped me decide, you know, how I'm going to look out on the world has been my, uh, my American government class. Because I've been, we've sat there and we've talked about different things, what we think is right, what we think is wrong, and how, you know, everybody looks out on it. I look out on things differently now than I did before. here, I was pretty immature. I found that I had really, really done a lot of childish things through high school that I never realized until I got here. And it has helped me change myself a lot. You don't have to go to formations. You don't have to go to class. You don't have to do anything. They, they tell you that as soon as you get here. We can't make you do anything. But if you don't do it, you're going to have to face consequences. Not your mother, not your father, not your roommate, but you. So it's up to you. You make your own decisions up my ties with my family a little bit. I mean, not to the point where I'm me and I don't care who they are. It's just that now I'm more my own person than my uh, parents' little kid. This year they started a new uh, program with us. They, it was in four modules. We had to work, they present problems and we would have to work it out and give our solution to the problem the teacher would have a set book, but it wouldn't have a set answer for a certain problem. It's just how the individual saw it. We, uh, we also studied tactics and leadership traits or abilities so we could be more like in tune for when we were chosen for a leadership position at camp. Wentworth receives young men from all sorts of academic environments, prior learning experiences, and from all over the world. And we have designed our educational experience to accommodate these different backgrounds. With the educational courses coupled with the military leadership development courses and the responsibility given to our young men in their positions within the Corps of Cadets, we feel that we can build an outstanding character for the future years of America. tries to produce a little different type of individual than, than other colleges do, or can do. Basically, they concentrate on the whole man concept, not simply a person who can 
make an A in calculus or an intrig or in English. That's part of it. You'll be a person who knows responsibility, who has leadership, who cares about others around him, has personal pride, who is prompt, who has who walks with a certain stature and dignity that, that, that sets him apart from, from uh, the 50 million others who walk on the same street. And Wentworth produces that type. It's set up to produce that type, and that's its whole purpose. Three, one, hit it, come on. First one, hit it. When I first came out of high school, I'd never worn a uniform. And about the only leadership I'd had before I came here was in Boy Scouts. In leadership in Boy Scouts, you're usually older than some of the guys that are under you. And here at Wentworth, we're in a peer group. We have to uh, lead guys our own age. And that's a lot harder than it is to lead younger people. Right. You can't just walk out in front of a company and say, okay, I'm the company commander, you're gonna do what I say. I mean, you gotta set the example. You gotta be there. Not only when they, you know, when they excel, but when they get defeated, you gotta be there all the time. There's a time for studies, there's a time for sports, there's a time for fun, there's a time for just kicking back, there's a time to accept your responsibility, there's a time to report, you know, to, to an event on, you know, on schedule, and there's a time, you, you, your life, you get it together. They help you get it together. Traditional values continue to be important. The Wentworth cadet develops the lifestyle of an officer and a gentleman. The social graces are an integral part of his education. of Arkansas at Little Rock, and I hope to pursue a military career. On my branch choices, I put down military police. I plan on majoring in criminology, which in the aspect of law enforcement, and I figured that's the best way to go. parents are proud of me because I'm doing great. All fine and good, my parents are proud of me. You know, I'm glad they are. But I'm proud of me. I can look at myself and I can feel better about me than before. And making the honor roll, you know, that was, that was a thrill. You know, it was always the other kid was on the honor roll. Now I'm on it, you know. And the responsibilities, I got more responsibilities now than I think I ever did before in my life. It's, it's been worth it to me simply because the money you spend at Wentworth covers not just academics. It covers the potential of, of learning what responsibility is about, and what leadership's about, of learning how to get along with others, learning how to be out on your own for the first time in a system that's very challenging. It's a very good lesson in life. When a cadet graduates from Wentworth Military Academy, he has been prepared to succeed in whatever endeavor he chooses. He joins a tradition that began in 1880 and has produced leaders in virtually every walk of life. Major General Clarence L. Tinker, World War II Commander of American Air Forces during the Battle of Midway. 
class of 1909. General William M. Hoag, builder of the Alaskan Highway, captured the Ludendorff Bridge, establishing the first Allied bridgehead on the Rhine River, class of 1910. Rear Admiral Donald V. Cox, class of 1940. Congressman Ike Skelton, class of 51. Congressman Newell A. George, class of 26. William S. Morris, Lieutenant Governor of Missouri. Arthur A. New, Lieutenant Governor of Iowa. John D. Stewart, Senior Vice President and Treasurer, American Express Company. William C. Schwartz, Physicist, President, International Laser Systems. Marlon Perkins, wildlife expert and international television personality. These young men are tomorrow's leaders. 1977, 78, this year. Yeah.